Are you ready? I said, are you ready? Drop that, 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 that. History. Hip hop. JJ. This is BCR. We are in the house once again. Another dope MC on the line. I am speaking to the man, Sean Lynx. How you doing, bro? What's good? What's good? How you doing? Yeah, I'm cool, man. <laughs> Thank you for this, man. I'm appreciative. I am yeah, appreciative. Good, good. I so, you too. how you living, bro? You busy or you chilling at the minute? Uh, right now I'm chilling at the moment, but you know I stay working. I'm, st- I'm I stay busy, so you know, I stay cooking up something. Mm-hmm. That's what I like to hear, man. So, um, yeah. how was your 2023 generally, life wise, career wise? How did it go for you? It was good, you know, um, uh, making my rounds, you know what I'm saying, dropping, you know, dope shit and, mm. you know, staying consistent, you know, with, uh, you know, I've been f- focusing on, you know, getting my visuals together and, you know what I'm saying, uh, learning more about, you know, uh, mastering my craft of how I want my vision, mm-hmm. you know, expressed or should I say, put out there, you know what I'm saying, for the world to see me. So that's what I've been focusing on lately. Mm-hmm. And, you know, uh, basically 2023 was dope, man. I dropped the Iceman, um, me and Machacha, and then I dropped a, um, a, pr- a production album, me and Grill Noy. I produced that whole project. Mm-hmm. And I think you know, that year was pretty dope for hip-hop, man. We dropped the classic. Um, my uh, Iceman album was definitely uh, something different. Mm -hmm. Uh, for the game um definitely well rounded as far as you know uh lyrics and you know i'm saying uh rhyming different ways and you know i'm saying just exploring and you know uh challenging my pen so you know yeah definitely man it's um everything is good man in 2024 it's looking the same man everything is you know i'm saying we're going up Mm -hmm. yeah that's the way it goes man so um I want to get back to the essence. I want to get back to the beginning. Where did um, mm-hmm. hip hop start for you? I read somewhere that it kind of started around um, the Wu Tang era. But um, let me hear in your yeah. words, like how you found it. Were you introduced to it? Did you find it by yourself? Um, you know, yeah, just yeah. just how you got started listening as a fan. Yeah, I um, I definitely um. I'm from North Carolina, so um, I see, I grew up watching a lot of videos and, uh, you know, seeing, like, you know, uh, dope artists like Outkast and um, uh, I would say a uh, couple of others, but basically, like, with the Wu, I, my homie had the uh, Wu-Tang album, the 36 Chambers album, mm-hmm. and um, I, would, I would borrow tapes from him sometimes. So, mm-hmm. you know, I was looking through his tapes, and then I saw that case, and that yeah. cover. So I was just like, yo, what's this? He was like, you don't know about the whoop? I was like, no, nah, I, ain't, I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't checked them out yet. So he, he, he let me borrow the tape. And he had to come get the tape. Because I was so hooked on, you know, he was like, man, I need my 36 Chambers back. I was like, man, come on. Man, I'm still listening to it. But anyway, I definitely got hipped on to the Wu man back when I was like 15, 16. You know what I'm saying? Maybe early, maybe like 14 probably. You know what I'm saying? Depend on, you know, when they drop when they drop that year. But um yeah, as soon before. as they dropped, man, I got hit with that. And um, you know, a lot of my homies was rapping and stuff like that. I just was enjoying the music at that time. Mm-hmm. I wasn't rapping or nothing like that. But once I got into rapping and, you know, just, you know, embracing the music of the nineties and, you know, listening to uh people like the Woo and Red Man and, you know, um Mob Deep, all these guys, like, changing the game and revolutionizing the game, should I say? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Mm -hmm. they just made everything easy for me, should I? I I mean, I could say, like, they made everything easy for me as, like, seeing how they do it Mm -hmm. and how they came with their own styles. And they, I would say they laid out the blueprint Mm -hmm. of how I wanted to do my own thing, you know what Mm -hmm. I'm saying? And how I learned this hip-hop uh, uh, this hip hop thing, and you know, rapping and love having the love for hearing beats and dope beats and all of this stuff. So basically, my era 
really kind of molded me to be who I am today as far as beats, um, rapping, and, you know, things like that. So I definitely grew, grew a, a strong love for this hip hop shit early. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So I'm, I'm from the era. I'm from the eight. I'm an '80s baby. So definitely got hit real quick to the golden era. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I know what you mean about <laughs> having to come get your tape. I remember I used to work with this guy, and I lent him my um, I lent him my It Was Written album. And um, yeah, I used to work with him, and he was like proper into hip hop. So I said, "You got to listen to this, man." Gave him my It yeah. Was Written. And then I came in the week after and he'd left the company. <laughs> he took my CD with him. <laughs> so I had to, I had to go buy it again, man. I was angry, but man, that album's yeah. worth it. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> but I know what you mean, yeah, man. Yeah. Okay, so um, outside of hip hop, what kind of music did you grow up with, you know, from family and older siblings, if you got any and stuff like that? And does that have any... Um, impact on your creativity um no nah, not really um mm. I, I, my mother and them used to play a lot of r&b and stuff like that mm-hmm. but i you know i like r&b but you know none of that haven't had a, a effect on my music or nothing like that mm. but um yeah man it's just basically been you know hip-hop and you know no no other genres it's just been the love of hip-hop man watching videos and Rap City and video vibrations and all of this stuff. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Okay. And um, when you when you started writing for yourself, were you just um, writing to get your feelings down on paper or were you writing raps specifically? I know you said uh, you had some friends that were rapping. Um, yeah, are you yeah. talking rapping in the studio and you were joining them or are you talking just banging on lunch tables just, yeah yeah just um you know um we would go to my homie house and um you know we'd be chilling and um they'll put on a little instrumental mm-hmm. and they would be writing and just you know just writing raps and you know because they knew how to do it at that time mm-hmm. so I, I didn't i just you know we'll be chilling around and you know what i'm saying and um they would be writing and stuff so one day they just was like yo you know what i'm saying why, why don't you try to write something mm-hmm. so when when did it my first rap there was just like oh shit like yo you <laughs> you you don't you good like they knew what that i had you know structure you know what i'm saying how i put my words together it was something there with some potential there yeah. so they was like yo let's let's do this you know what i'm saying let's keep writing and stuff like that so we just never stopped you know growing up you know what i'm saying smoking a little weed here and there and stuff like mm-hmm. that 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 got us, you know, into that zone of, you know what I'm saying, wanting to write more and stuff like that. So as I kept writing, I got mm-hmm. better, you know. So then I would pre- I would write on my own, like in my own, in my crib, uh, and I would present things to them, and, and they'd be like, whoa, you know what I'm saying? So I just got better at it, and then I just never stopped, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So as I, you know, made my rounds and, you know, go. I got family in New York, so I go. I go to New York in the summer and stuff like that, and come back home. Like always, you know, try to run into people and present my raps and stuff like that. I used to have like have like nine, ten raps just in my head, ready to just you know rap anywhere. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. I used to do that. Like I used to meet up with anybody who could rap and stuff like that, and just have like mad rhymes ready to go, man. So. Yeah, ever since then with the homies, man, rapping back in the day, we always, you know, just never stopped, man. Mm, cool, cool. And was there a um, was there a tipping point where it's like, this is what I want to do for a living, or was it just a natural progression from what you were just talking about? I I, w- I would say um both, man, because like like me doing it naturally and learning knowing that I was good at it. I really came to a realization like, yo, I can do this, you know, professionally. And, and as much as people, you know, would tell me like, yo, you should be on and you should, you should be here. You should be it. I knew that a lot of people was gravitating towards my lyrics and loving how I do my shit. And it was just like, yo, you should, you know, you should really, you know what I'm saying? Take it serious and do it. But I already was thinking to myself like, yo, how dope I am. I'm, I mean, I am serious about it, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So I just will always do my thing and, you know, I just ain't never stopped, man. 
Okay. And, and I feel like at that point, when I came to the realization, I just was like, yeah, I'm, I'm nice. I'm, I'm about to kill dudes. I'm about to come through and do my shit. They gonna know me. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So, yeah. 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 All right, man. So, um, getting back to you specifically, um, the Sean Links, the name. How did how did you come up with that? Is that just an extension of you, or is there a story behind it, or anything like that? Yeah. Um. My, one of my homies gave me that gave me that name. Like um. Like, like I said, back in the day, growing up, listening to the 90s era, mm. you know what I'm saying? We love Boot Camp, we love Help the Skelter, we love um, uh, Terror Squad and Big Pun, all these guys. So, you know, we were just listening listen to, like, certain names and names that sound hard and stuff mm. like that. So, you know, they had, like, Cuban Links mm -hmm. uh, from Terror Squad. And then, you know what I'm saying, my uh, uh, my homie, um, you know, we love Help the Skelter, you know, we got Sean Price. Mm -hmm. One of the one of my favorite MCs of all oh, yeah. time, and um, so my my real name is Sean. Mm -hmm. So um, he kind of put it together and was like, "Yo, you Sean Links," mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So it kind of I, I was 16, so you know I, I was like, "Yeah, yeah, it sounds hard, but it didn't have no meaning behind it." Yeah. So as you know, as the years you know go by. You know, I always try to figure out a meaning for it or, you know what I'm saying? What could it mean? Could I, you know, um, make the letters stand for something? So I didn't want to be too dramatic with it. Hmm. And it was hard to think of something. So I just left it. It don't have no meaning. It's just, you know, it just sound dope. Sean yeah, Links. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Cuban Links, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I'll like, get you, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah kind of, you know, I always say kind of put the names together, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And just, you know, make my own. Okay, so I want to get on to um, I want to get on to Mad Max because obviously when I, um, you know when I put up that video of of Wally era that's obviously off the Mad Max uh, project. Um, yeah, definitely. First of all, shout out to Holy Smokes, man. Those beats are fire, absolute fire. Yeah, shout Penny out to Pennywise, Holy Smokes, Radioactive, Rawhide, Wally era, of yeah. course. I, I I love that yeah, album, man. Yeah, yeah. I saw the video and I thought I've got to go and investigate. So then I went and you know what I mean, bought the album, listened to that, and just love yeah, it, man. That's how I got into you guys. You. So, um, yeah, man, how that, did... that, that album is a masterpiece, man. That's that's one of my favorite albums. Yeah, man. <clears throat> Believe me, I've 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 played the hell out of that album. <laughs> um, how did you appreciate and you. Holy Smokes connect? Um, I got with Holy Smokes. Um, I seen him on the gram. Um. You know, he followed me, I followed him. Um, and you know, I saw that he was dope with the beats, man. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, anytime I hear a dope beat, you know, I, I don't just have to make it, you know, other people make beats. I got projects, you know, produced by other people. Mm -hmm. I'm producing my own album right now that I'm working on as well. Mm -hmm. But um yeah, I still got a lot in the works. I've worked with other people, but when I got with Holy Smokes and saw what he was doing, I was like, yo. You know what I'm saying? Let's it's time to get one in. And he was like, yo, I never thought you asked. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So once once that happened, he sent me uh he sent me a few beats and um I sent them back. Uh the first one I did was Rawhide. Mm -hmm. So that right there was solidified, like, yo, you know what? Yeah, we gotta do a full joint. Cause if mm -hmm. they gonna be coming out like this, mm -hmm. then you know, we gotta keep it moving. So, you know, once we started um you know, cooking it up, man, it all came together, and I just felt like, and at that point in time, like, you know, um, I, I like to name my albums after characters, because mm. I'm a movie, I'm a movie guy, so I like movies, and, you know, throwback movies, and stuff like that, and um, I like to name my albums that kind of relate to, like, the characters, you know mm. what I'm saying, so at that point in time, of me coming in the, in the game, and it's underground, I felt like at that point in time, I'm, I'm in my Mad Max zone, I mean, I'm staying in my own lane. I'm I'm killing shit. I'm reckless. You know what I'm saying? I'm letting them know I'm coming through on my road rage. You know what I'm saying? I'm mm -hmm. on. So at that point in time, I felt like Mad Max would match that. And plus, the beats he was sending me gave me that vibe that mm -hmm. that uh that post. I would say that, that post apocalyptic post -apoc type. Yeah. Yeah, I was just about to say that <laughs> that post apocalyptic type yeah. vibe. You know what I'm saying? That destroyed earth type vibe. So I was mm. like, yo, you know what? This sounds real like you know, you know, we about to run over shit. Mm. So, you know, I, I always felt like, yo, this 
that's one of my favorite albums, man. Like, okay. if not, that's that's my favorite. So was that um, was that during the creation of the album, or was it like, this is Mad Max, let's go from there, or was it like you got nah, a few nah, beats like, and then Mad Max I came? Did, yeah, yeah, I did a couple of songs, mm -hmm. and I went off the vibe of the songs. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And the vibe of the songs and how I was feeling, like I said at that time, I just felt like yo. You know, I'm learning a lot of stuff about the, you know, the underground and, you know what I'm saying, how to move. And, you know what I'm saying, basically, you know, I came in this shit by myself. So, you know, I just mm -hmm. felt like, you know, I'm holding this shit down, one man on me by myself. So, mm -hmm. um, I just felt like the album gave me that feel of a Mad Max feel. And, you know what I'm saying, it's real, uh, like a like a gory cinematic type vibe. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So, I felt like it. It hit perfect. Out of all my albums, I just felt like I hit the dot right there in the middle mm -hmm. for that Mad Max joint. So yeah, yeah. Um, and and the process you... of making it was it was fun, man. Like mm. we was banging them out. Mm -hmm. I think we we worked maybe like a, a it was took like a year maybe. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Probably less than that. We just you know the time and I had other albums I was putting out and stuff. So but yeah, like with that album. We got it done like that, man. Yeah. Like it where flowed. Is, yeah, our where, chemistry just flowed so ill. Hmm. Where's Where's Holy Smokes from? I, I forgot to look that up. To be honest, where is he situated? He's from, he from Baltimore. Oh, okay. All right. Cool. 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 Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. I've spoken yep. to a couple of um, rappers from there. Um, East Shore Ridge yeah. and uh, P Shells, man. Baltimore's got a good scene yeah, down man. there, man. From what I can tell, that well, up there. I yeah. Say. Yeah. They got a good scene, from what yeah, I can tell. Yeah. Um. Do you have um, an opinion on, because uh, when I purchased Mad Max, I got it off Bandcamp, and then mm -hmm. after I listened to that and I saw that was dope, I went and got the missing links as well um, with mm -hmm. um, Va uh, Vargo. I can't remember his Vargo. name. Off my yeah, Vargo, yeah. Um, do you have an opinion on doing an album with one producer or just, you know what I mean, one or two producers or... You know, like yeah. some because when you're when you're thinking about some of those golden era albums that you were talking about, you know, there'd be a track by Primo, there'd be a track by, you know, Pete Rock, there'd be a track by, you know right. what I mean? Do you yeah. do you have an opinion on whether to do it that way or whether just to work with one producer and have a clear vision for the album? I think um, if it if it works, you know, if it works mm -hmm. for you know whoever doing the music, if if it works and you can get you know, those type of producers to all, you know, everything can fit sonically, then cool. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? But for me, I like working with one producer because mm -hmm. I feel like with his sound, with, it, with with his sound and my lyrics, I feel like the chemistry, it, we can create something uh, sonically. You know yeah, what I'm saying? A whole, Where it a whole project. It'd be cohesive and it all comes together. Mm -hmm. And, you know, not, nothing to be, you know, out of whack coming from left field. Like, this guy might make beats different from this guy. Yeah, This yeah. guy make beats different from this guy. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So if you got a gumbo of different producers, mm -hmm. then, you know, you're going to get different feelings of the album. Mm -hmm. But if you nice and you got one producer, you can still give them different feelings of the album mm -hmm. when you, you know, you challenge your pen and you, you know what I'm saying? You tapping into those different worlds of, what the what the music makes you you know bring forth you know what I'm saying so I yeah. feel like if you got a good producer and he's sending you different things to where it can sound like it's a different producer mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying because it's different samples it's different drums and all of this stuff so if you challenge in your pen you can make things different and you know make it all come together you know what I'm saying but to each his own, you know what I'm saying? Who, whoever feel like they need this many producers, that many producers, that's cool if you can make it work. But I'm a fan of one producer, mm -hmm. one artist. All right, cool. That's cool, man. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Like you said, you're from uh, North Carolina. Um, what's the scene like there? I mean, obviously, there's, you know, some big stars that come from that area um, in the hip-hop right. game. Um Right. Have they changed the scene, or is it more or less the same as it's always been? Have you noticed the? Um, uh, I'm I'm just really uh like you know stepping out, mm. and from what I see, um, 
it's kind of it's kind of like a mixture you know it's you know it's like north carolina it's a lot of different type of artists out there it's you know it's trap artists you know you can bump into some you know um some real spitters you know what i'm saying so a lot of people like you know they come from they move from different places and move here and you just might bump into somebody who can you know do the same thing you do mm -hmm. but the scene out here is it's kind of like the hip hop scene, it's a hip hop scene out here, but sometimes you just gotta find it. Or sometimes you gotta, you know, wait till something comes around. But it's around. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But you just gotta be in the loop, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I, I try to reach out to people, but, you know, you know how I go. You know what I'm saying? I guess people be busy or, you know, they have things already booked or something like that. But the scene is cool out here, but it's mm -hmm. not like a New York or. You know what I'm saying? Where, yeah. the, where the underground scene is more, you know, alive, I would say. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But, okay. You know, There's different types of music out here. Like, I, like at a show, you know, you might see, you know, a lot of trap people, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying, come up and do like you know, club type songs. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, I might be the one person who come and does some 90s sound and shit. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, it's, it's different, you know? Hmm. Um, and do you, um, I mean, is there any like NC artists that you've, uh, come across that you might get the opportunity to work with or is it kind of like everyone's doing their own thing down there? Uh, maybe if, if I reach out, maybe I could, maybe, you know, I probably could work with a couple, uh, dudes, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Um, uh, right now, uh, as far as you know, any NC artists you know that I I work with, I work with Grio Noe, uh, and not too many others. You know what I'm saying? Because like yeah. like you said, a lot of people doing their own thing and mm -hmm. stuff like that. But yeah, maybe if I reach out and you know get with some cats, you know what I'm saying? We probably can um you know get together and do something. Yeah, shout It'll out Grio dope. Noe, man. He's dope. I've listened to a couple of these tunes, man. I I like what he's doing. Yeah. man. I like that. Yeah, um, yeah, he's dope. Yeah, and he and he young man, like mm. a young cat like that, man, spitting like that. That's mm. man. Imagine him in a couple more years. You know mm. what I'm saying? Like he, why when I when I seen what he do, and you know he, he reached out and you know what I'm saying he wanted to do some work. I, I when I seen, I was already down. Like yo, word, like cause I I know he could rap. Like he really raps. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's yeah. not a lot, not a lot of cats out there like. Who like really rap? A lot mm. of people have like they. A lot of people are I would I call them content rappers mm -hmm. because their raps are be basically about one thing. You yeah. know they had a struggle, or you know what I'm saying they you know they do the drug the plug talk they call it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying it's it's your those type of rappers who can rap, mm -hmm. and then it's you know a lot of people you know they have their own content of what they rap about, but when it comes to like myself or Grio Noy and, and people like who can really like rap and be universal and just give you bars overall you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying and throw a little bit of everything in there you know what I mean because and it's not like every time you hear one of my songs it's just about my struggle in life I had or mm -hmm. how many things I could flip you know what I'm saying it's like a I MC I get busy I'm nicer than you type vibe you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying or or I get busy, whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's just an overall gumbo of just bars. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And, and it could it have some drug talk in it and, and a little bit of this in it, but not too much. And my and, yeah. and, and, and as far as what I see, we we don't talk about stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And if we do, it might be metaphorically. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. With with the lyric, just trying to, just <laughs> so, trying to make it a yeah, bit man, more. Like, well yeah, rounded. yeah. Everybody has yeah. their own thing, do their own thing. But I like MCs. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? MCs who really get busy on the mic. And not to say those other cats don't get busy on the mic. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just you know their their content and what they talk about. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't I don't really. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I mean, for me personally, yeah. I think that um, you know, talking about Grey or Noy, you, um, I think you can tell when a rapper is well versed in the game do you know what i mean it's kind of like been a student of the game do you know what i right. mean and um like you say you know there's a variety of topics it's a well-rounded 
uh, rapper. Right. Do you know what I mean? They they can rap on any subject like straight away, right. just like that. Do you know what I mean? Exactly. Instead of you know, talk about plug. Well, talk about yeah. you know what I mean. Going to a party or something. Oh, am I going right. to the party exactly. to be a plug or you know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. I think it's exactly. I think it's um, yeah. exactly. you can always tell. I think the people that have got a sort of well rounded um, view of the game right. and can hit any topic, man. So I know exactly what you're saying. Yeah. Um, getting uh, staying on that topic. Um, the way you approach your music. Um, do you sort of lean towards? Um, sort of having a rhyme book and then you'll hear beats and tailor your rhyme book to that beat or do you hear beats and think that beat's dope I'm going to write something specifically for that beat do you understand what I'm saying so does the, yeah, the words yeah. come before the beat or does the beat come before the words normally right. I know I you do, could probably do. do it both ways but right yeah I do I do both mm. I do both but most of the time, um, if it's something real, because I keep I keep some verses in the in the cut, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying. So if I if I have something, I hear some 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 dope beats, and you know somebody send me something, and I might be like, oh, this verse could fit with this, mm-hmm. then I'll let it fly. Mm-hmm. But most of the time, I'll write something, you know what I'm saying. The feeling mm-hmm. depending on how I'm feeling. I don't never write if I ain't like in the mood to write. So every time I give. Every time I get on the mic and, and do my and do my shit, mm-hmm. it's always a hundred percent of me feeling it mm-hmm. to do it. That's why I don't I feel like I don't miss because I don't never push myself to write. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So, you know, every time I do it, it's because I was in the mood to do it. Mm-hmm. So that's why I keep my shit at a hundred percent, man. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, I I might write, I might throw something or I might sit there and write something new. Mm-hmm. And um yeah, that's cool, man. And I know you said you um you like to make music as well. Is there ever is there any other avenues that you go down either musically or outside of music, outside of hip hop, that you um like to engage in? Or is it just sort of, you know, writing and producing? Uh I, I like um I like fashion, man. I like I like clothes. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying. I like I like getting fly. So you know, I'm working on a, a clothing line as well. Mm-hmm. So outside of music, yeah, I want to do. You know, I want people wearing my wearing my shit. You know what I'm saying. So yeah, yeah. that's what I'm doing right now. I'm, I'm in the you know process of getting that everything you know uh, trademarked and copywritten and stuff like that. So when I do bring it out. I don't want nobody to try to steal it or nothing. So I'm mm-hmm. just trying to go. I usually would just, if I put something on a shirt or something, I just wear it. But I'm just trying to, being I, I have my label, and I want to be more official about things now. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, like I want to buy product from me and stuff like that. I have my website. So it's just me wanting to be more official and having a boss mind about things and not just, putting things out there and I, I'm just being more strategic about things now. Mm-hmm. So um, I definitely want to, uh, you know, bring my, bring my clothing line and get that off the ground and, mm-hmm. you know, start wearing it myself. People see how I freak it. You know what I'm saying? Cause like I said, I like to get fly and, and wear fresh kicks and shit like that. So people see how I freak it. Then they might be, yo, let me, let me get a shirt. Let me get a hoodie. And once I get those DMs, then I'll do a shirt run, I'll do a hoodie run, or, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. shirt with the short set for the summer coming up, you know what I'm saying, so I, I really like that, that's that's the other side, you know what I'm saying, like, that's something that I used to say when I was young, like, I wanted to design clothes, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying, I wanted to be a designer, that was okay. before rapping, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, so, yeah, that's, that's another, um, that's another one of my passions, man. Oh, that's clothes. cool, man. That's really cool, man. Um, so, I know you were talking earlier about um, projects coming up. Why don't you um, let us know what you got coming and what kind of time frame we're talking about? Uh, uh, the time frame, uh, well, I got my Blade Brown album is coming soon. Hmm. Um, I'm getting everything ready for that right now as we speak. Um, I want uh, the time frame for that, man, I probably would say at least about Three, maybe three more months for that. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Maybe about three more months at the at the at the most. 
You know what I'm saying? But I got a mixtape dropping real soon, though. You know what I'm saying? I got a mixtape. <clears throat> um, it's 30 verses over your favorite uh, beats, 90s beats, um, uh, up-to-date beats. Mm. Um, it's definitely like a dope Jadakiss mixtape. You know how you get mm. the mixtapes back mm. in the day? You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. The, uh, the playlist is on the front of the cover. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I did it just like that. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not really going like too professional, you know, with the CD printing and all that. I'm doing it just like they did it in the 90s. I'm printing and everything up myself. You know what I'm saying? I got my covers. I'm putting it all in the co- in the CD cases myself. Mm-hmm. And I'm burning the CD and I'm writing on them with a marker the 90s <laughs> way. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to put out a 90s official mixtape. Yeah. For all my fans who, you know, who love that era of, you know how sometimes if you ain't listening to an album, you just throw that, throw that mixtape in or that mm-hmm. CD in, you mm-hmm. just listening to your favorite, one of your newest artists, just go 16 crazy yeah, on yeah. different beats. Mm-hmm. That's, that's what I'm doing. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Cool, and it's man. just like the night. You know what I'm saying? I got a couple, and I sprinkled in a couple of my favorite joints from different albums. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, it's, um. It's definitely fire, man. It's um got some dope nineties beats up there, man. Some you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna reveal too much, but that's coming real soon. You know what I'm okay. saying? I would say in the next thirty days maybe, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So I'm just waiting on a couple of things to get set up and then I'm gonna announce that and you know what I'm saying, I'll keep you posted, you know what oh, I'm saying? It's gonna be available. It's gonna be available for you to burn on my band camp, on my website. Um, but yeah. Uh, that's that's what's happening right now. My mixtape, then Blade Brown is coming, mm-hmm. and then I got a joint coming with uh, Raw Duke. Um, I got a joint coming with True Cipher. I'm working on. I got one with Vincent Price. I'm working on. Like man, I'm 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 really booked, man. I'm I'm busy. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, oh yeah, I got one coming with um, Body Bag Ben. Oh, you know, we locked in. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we locked in. We, we talked, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to get something shaking soon, you know, after we, you know, we both are still a little busy. But, yeah, we already mm-hmm. locked in. We're going to get cranking. And that's going to be crazy. Oh, okay, so yeah. um, yeah, that's going to be bar heavy. I'm snapping mm-hmm. on that. That's going to, mm-hmm. I, I really got a feeling that's going to be another Mad Max Bolo feel type shit. Like, I'm just going <laughs> to go ham on those beats because yeah. his beats be crazy. Yeah, man, I'm real busy, man. But for right now, for 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 2024, um, it's looking like uh, uh my mixtape and Blade Brown for this year. I might try to squeeze in something else, but I doubt it. But 2025 is gonna be lit too, though, because everything that I'm working on at once right now mm-hmm. might all be finished by the end of the year, yeah. and then I'm just gonna be rolling them out on in 2025. <laughs> everybody, you know. Two or three albums, 2025. So yeah, at least yeah. two, you know. So yeah. Cool. Yeah. No, I'm looking forward to that, man. Um, yeah. Uh, I forgot to ask. Um, just quickly getting back to Mad Max and Wally era. Um, big shout out to Mondo Slade on that one. Um, yeah, yeah, again, another rapper that um, that I love, man. He's impressed me a lot the last couple of years. Um, how did you hook up with him? Uh, I just hit them up on the gram, you mm. know, like you know, a lot of people, you know what I'm saying? They, they see me get busy, you know what I'm saying? They respect, they respect the pain, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I, I, um, you know, hooked up with a couple people, you know what I'm saying? And, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, followed a couple people, people follow me back and, um, you know, exchange numbers with a couple dudes, you know what I'm saying? We mm. chatted up, and, you know, get the building and talking about doing some work. So, uh, he sent me a joint to get on his album, and I told him, yo, I definitely want you to get on my album I'm working on. Hmm. So when I was working on the song, I had the song as a one verse. <clears throat> but then I was thinking, you know, I need, I wanted to get another feature on the album. And then I was thinking, yo, who would sound good on this? So I see I see how Mondo, you know, he, he from the same era. He from, you know, he rocked the Wileys, you know what I'm saying? We we love the woo shit, you know? Hmm. So I was like, all right, We'll get Mondo on it and we'll, you know, come together and throw our Wally's on and you know what I'm saying? I had the whole idea, everything like, yo, let's do a video, we're gonna rock our Wally's, we're gonna do this, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I, I shot the um 
I shot the uh, Atlanta, and we went out there, and you know, we met up, and you know what I mean. He, he brought his, his video got through, and we shot it, man. Yeah. And um, the rest is history, man. Like we dropped that shit, fire ass video. Um, the album went crazy, and then to have the dope videos to follow it, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Just put the icing on the cake, man. Yeah, I mean, it's, and it's, when I choose, like, and when I choose my features, man, I, I I do that. I don't just I don't just fuck with people, you know what I'm saying? Just because mm -hmm. they got a big name, I fuck with people if they just, if they really dope, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So I like to make sure that the people that I put on my albums fit, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? They fit the song because mm -hmm. your name, big. I don't give a fuck about your name, big. I give a fuck about us making this song dope, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So yeah, we we yeah. We, we came through. We, make some fire yeah you know like i said obviously you know i put that um wally era video on the gram and you um, reacted to that which is why i thought i might as well you know what i mean get in touch and see if you're up for an interview like i said yeah, i appreciate man. it man I'm glad you so reached yeah. Out, yeah 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 so that yeah that like i said that that mad max is dope so um why don't you let people know um, how they can get in touch with you, your socials, your websites, all of that stuff, uh, so people can go right. and check check out Sean Links. Yeah, if you if you want to, uh, you know, get hit new music, um, my gram hit hit me up on Instagram. It's Sean Links official, S E A N official. No, S E A N Links official. Um, my my uh, website is loungeboymusic.com. Uh, my band camp, Sean Links. You know, just you know, tap in with me. Um, mm -hmm. My YouTube, Sean Links. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, man. All right, man. Yeah, it has been a pleasure. Like I said, I appreciate you um, hitting me back and doing this for me, man. I appreciate it. I've said it before yeah. to a few people that I've interviewed. I don't just. You know, like you were saying about your features, I don't just contact anybody. If you, if I'm not feeling your music, I'm not getting in touch. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I got in touch because, you know, Wally Era, like I said, um, you know, um, Rawhide, Pennywise, yeah. you know what I mean? That Mad Max it. joint is dope. So yeah. everyone should go check that out. Um, the Missing Links with uh, Vargo is dope. Check that out, man. Like you said, go to Radio Raheem. I got the yeah. Radio Raheem, Polo mm. Young, mm. Iceman. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Still so. fly with real noise. Mm. So yeah, plenty man. to check out, man. So, yeah. So everybody out there, make sure you go check out Sean Links, man, because he's dope. Yeah. But for now, Sean Links, Late man, thank soon. you for your time, sir. And um, yes, sir. hopefully speak to you soon, all right? Yeah, man. Anytime, man. Just hit me up. Cool, man. Thank you. Your kind of music all day, all night, right on your one and only station, Black Culture Radio. Black Culture Radio.